Hi everyone, my name is Chiesa, I'm 18 years old and I'm currently a student at the Monfort University studying graphic design. Um, this video, I'm just basically going to talk about my experience on the BTEC National Diploma in Art Design at SFX in South London. I started the course in 2009 when I was 16 years old and at the time I wasn't really too sure what exactly I wanted to do within the field but I was sure I wanted to be somewhere involved in art and design. Quickly as I progressed on it I decided that I wanted to do graphics because I thought it was a very interesting form of visual communication where I could express myself and at the same time use my skills to be fit for purpose for other people. I, when I started there as well I started at working at Hustle Bucks, which is a youth social enterprise based in South London as well. And the skills that I learned at Hustle Bucks top, topped up a lot on the skills I learned at SFX. I had a lot of people around me who were experienced, um, who knew what they were doing and who could guide me in the right direction. Um, you know, can give me a lot of quality feedback, which is what I really needed as a young designer. And you know, every designer needs that feedback, no matter how experienced you are. Um, that's what I've been told and that's what I still believe. I learned f quite a lot on the BTEC course. I learned, um, you know, obviously graphic design, illustration, fashion illustration, fashion design, printmaking, photography, uh, computers and arts and design, including web design, using Photoshop, using the software, product design, architecture, you name it. I've probably touched on it somewhere on that course. You know, it was such a broad, uh, such a broad course that the skills in them really overlapped and it helped you to put kind of two and two together so that you can really you know get a foothold and decide what you want to do so yeah it's a diagnostic course you could so you could you could call it um hustle bucks helped me to apply what i learned in sfx into enterprise um one of the reasons why i got involved in hustle bucks is the fact that the teachers were always saying to us when i started um you know saying to people in my class it's good to get yourself out there um, be involved in projects outside of um, what we're setting you in college because that will help us to build the contacts um, to gain the experiences necessary to work in the industry. You know, you can't, as an art and design student, as a student of any kind really, but especially as an art and design student, a creative student, you can't afford to just be a student. You need to be involved in stuff that's going on out there so that you can see how the world of your creative industry works. That's really important. A lot of people miss out on that when they're you know, at the stages of 16 to 18 or on their degree. You know, they think that they can just go and study and then come out and get a job. It's not as simple as that. Uh, you really need to be making your mark. And you know, that's something that I learned and something that I applied and I think it's worked really well. When I was at Hustle Bucks, I learned um, to do printmaking onto garments. So for example, the one I'm wearing now in this video, I printed it myself. I've been doing it for nearly two and a half years now and it's been pretty good in terms of enterprising because I get quite a lot of people coming to me asking me to get their stuff done now so that's how I've been trading. Um, when I was in my first year at SFX I started doing taking on freelance work, doing freelance illustration, freelance design for people and I value all the mistakes that I made back then because they are what is are putting me one step ahead of the game now in terms of where I'm at, you know, being an undergraduate and whatnot. And now I know how to deal with clients, I know the process, I know how important research is, I know how important feedback is and I know how important time management is and I know how important it is to know my own capacity. One mistake that I used to make was over promising, saying that I could do things when I couldn't do them just for the fact that I wanted to do them but that wasn't good enough. If, I, if you're not able to do something, don't say you can do it. Let people know, it will save you a hell of a lot of trouble. Uh, don't try and do 25 things in 24 hours. Strike a balance. Prioritise what needs to be done first. If you're being swamped in college work, you need to cut off a few other things that you're doing outside of it so that you can get that done. But in the end, always ask for feedback, always ask for advice. Um, you need to seek to progress. You know, One of the things my, tu my tutors were always telling me on the course is that you can't be the same, you can't be at the same level one, one year than you were the, the last. So you've got to see progression in the work. People who are looking at your portfolio don't want to see what you've done two years ago. They want to see what you're doing now. So keep working hard, keep being dedicated, um, put your all in, into your work. Be around people who are creative, you know, who will inspire you to do great work. Keep coming up with ideas, don't be lazy, your work is never finished. Your only time your work is finished and you run out of ideas is when the deadline comes. Till the deadline, you're always coming up with ideas and that's the attitude you've got to take. So yeah, I'm very thankful for what I learned at SFX. 
I think they gave us some top quality education and I left with a triple distinction, which I suppose helped to get me into all five university choices that I applied for. So yeah, thanks to SFX. Um, and I hope that this video helps some other prospective art students, graphic students, design students, um, in terms of what they want to do and how they want to deal with their workload. So yeah, keep inspired, keep around people like you, be dedicated. Take care.